see all kind of people here at Five Points. That's okay though, because I love it. We're going to keep going and going and going. I might go over here and talk to the man right there, like the girl over there, or the guy over there. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm going to talk to you. Stay tuned. There's a lot of people today. Strange people, but nice people don't answer a lot of the questions. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get. Oh my gosh, look at this artwork you guys got to see. This is so nice. Did you just do this? Uh, now, how long does it take you to do all this? Um, like a treatment like that, we take those home. Wow. Now, get her little Look at this. See, I'm loving this. It's like so cool. I need to tell somebody I got talent. He said, You welcome to me. He said, Hey, that's dope, man. That's dope. Wow. Look at this. 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 Look and all kinds of stuff like just right on the paintbrushes and he's doing it wow check out his work let's look at him see what he's doing he's doing a little baby guys this baby is so cool wow nah just tell them they dope man people need compliments like the world is stingy with compliments right like, we really those, like, even as far as music and anything as far as art. Now, that tattoo right there, let this help. Did you draw that? Oh, uh, I drew it, but um, I got it done in Alien Touch. What does help me? Help me. Somebody be asking the initials for somebody? Oh, no. Actually, it was my birthmark when I got it lined up. The heroes eventually lead people. If somebody asks for help, you should give them help. You know what I mean? If you need help, you should you should be scared to ask for help. Like, pretty much we're born and we need help until we're old enough to help ourselves. But even going out, you know, we're gonna need help. That's the way God, you know, lined up life. You can't really do anything without someone's help. Wow. You can have a business, but what is it if no one's gonna buy it? What's a business doing alone? What's love by yourself? What's raising a child by yourself? Right. Like that's how God made life healthy. Yeah. I'm like, I like that he don't eventually sleep. Wow. Okay, okay. See, I'm down on the ground. I gotta see it. Oh, girl, I thought I got loose. I thought I thought I was gonna take It was gonna be on. Wow. I'm liking this though. Yeah, we have a place called the House of Dope. It's this artist shelter. Uh huh. A little underground artist shelter where pretty much people crash and get off their feet. Uh -huh. You know, there's always that thing of like starving artists. People like to think artists are starving, but really it's just the art that's starving. Wow, like, okay, okay. People live, but they can't really afford to always do their art. Uh -huh. So, you know, at the House of Dope, you can just pretty much crash there until you get yourself together. Mm -hmm. As long as you bust your tail, you know what I mean? Right, right. Dope is like doing our part every day, so if you ain't doing your part every day, you gotta bounce. Wow. Yeah, so. Cool. So we this is for art artists like yourself that's out here doing this, whatever? Artists, vocal musicians, you know what I mean? Anyone who's a creator who really needs help and uh -huh. like sometimes people really ready to just jump, you know, jump and really put themselves into the art and it gets hard. Uh -huh. Wow. But you know, Atlanta is one of the places where you can do that. Right. You just need help. I was helped with the place, so I try to get the blessings back. That's deep, so help. I like that describes you. So you would be considered to be a hero. I done shot a couple people in the name of good. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know if I need to be doing all this now. I'm just on my head because I don't need nobody to in the name of, In the name Ooh. of right. Ooh, I'm going to turn my head on that one. Cupid you will shoot him. Cupid will shoot him. Did you shoot him in the heart, Cupid? You know it. You know it. <laughs> I am loving this. I'm gonna go and see the people that you got. Man, that looks just like you guys gotta see the finishing product. This is just like this little baby. Wow. This is like amazing. You are so, how long have you been an artist? Once I get to you though. Uh don't do that to me. How long have you been an artist? Oh, uh, that's all I remember. I bumped my head, woke up next to that book right there. And you had a paintbrush in your hand. Pretty much. Wow, like can you just freestyle draw anything? It's like, well, obviously you can, but is that how you started off? Yeah, they both. Like sometimes I uh, I wake up from my dreams and draw the people that I saw in my dreams. That's how I met my wife. That's the awesome part. Oh my God, did you saw in your dreams? Yeah, I was walking around with her painting for about seven months. Then she finally walked past, like right there. What? Yeah, it happens all the time. 
It's him and his wife. Look at this. It's beautiful. Some more, more in love. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look. What's up? Wow. wow! That's how black girl is, huh? You look like some more, and that's love. You are. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm a polygamist. Oh, this is amazing. I like this. Oh, appreciate you. You have talent, like for real. Cupid. I got a boogers. Am I good? I'm good. <laughs> boogers brother of my family. I'm serious, man. We, we really some some people get ball heads. We get we get boogers, man. Yes. You like what's not cold? You just be leaking. You know what I'm saying? Ah, you like it? Bigger than those. <laughs> well, I'm here with Cupid, and this is another episode of How Do You Say It. We're out here in Little Five Points in Atlanta, Georgia, and what's up, man? What's up? Man, I, I'm in a positive mood. You know what I mean? You know me in a positive mood. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to sit out here and just chill like this. I'm going to show you. come out here and draw. Yeah, yeah come to out just start drawing and everything. So you can feel free out here. I feel so free. <laughs> you feel free, Cupid? Hey, man, I'm free. Nobody owes me. <laughs> Nobody owns me. Wow. And he's good. I'm sitting here. I'm just I'm going to end oh. the show with this. I'm not going to let you paint this get away. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to sit here and look at all these beautiful paintings. Look. There's all kinds of stuff. He's finished up his little baby. Oh, that's awesome. Is that a piece of bubble gum or a moonlight? light? Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's the gum. That's the gum of life. The gum of life. The gum of life. Can you buy it somewhere? Huh? Can you buy it somewhere? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, what is the gum of life? Is that, is, 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 is Cupid's already been chewed gum. Cupid, how do you tell somebody you don't want none of that nasty gum? I don't want none of your gum. Yeah, nobody ever told me that before. See? See? It's the first time for everything. I'm serious. Uh. All right. We're going to end this show once again. And we're here at Little Five Points. I'm your host, Mr. Nicole. I'm here with Cupid. We're going to sit here and just watch the random people. See a little bit? Oh, that's the finished part. Look, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Look, look, it's you. Oh, it's oh, Larry. Oh, wow. How cool is that? Alright, so we'll get to another episode of How Do You Say It? How Do You Say It? How Do You Say It? Stay, stay tuned. Little five. <laughs> we'll be back for another episode of How Do You Say It. Keep sending me the email, guys, because you know me. You never know where you may see me. Where you may see me, what city you may see me, and I might even come to a city near you.